Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a shudaku. Um, I made this in Java, but I'm going to show you how to make it in Android. So I will show you what we are going to have. So basically, this is um, this is making hundred uh, different shudakus and. Uh, See if it's solved, and uh, it measures average time to make it. So basically, it's making one shudaku in an average of 0 0.4, 0 0.004 or five seconds. So uh, let's get started. Uh, let's make a new Android project. Let's call this I don't know. Shudoku. Um, rename this. Okay. And this. Good. Okay. Uh, blank activity is going to be good. Um, today we will not use any graphical interface. We will only use the the debug lines to our time because it's it's quite um, it will be quite long to make this so let's make our first first class let's call it um, shudaku generator and this is going to be a singleton class which is um, it restricts the instantiation of a class to only one object. So uh, it is useful um, in cases like this. So let's make it. Let's make a um, variable, a static variable, um, Shudoku generator. Insta instance. Let's make a um, constructor, which is also uh, a private. Um, and let's make a, a new. Let's instantiate it. Public static. In instance, if instance is equals to null, then let's make it. Oh, I screwed up. In instance, instance, because new sudoku generator and give back the instance return instance so oh shudoku generator oh sorry okay so um i'm not going to need this or this uh, yep, and I'm just going to use a simple activity. Yeah, um, yeah. What's your problem? Okay, it's okay. So in this way, uh, we can use Sudoku generator class dot get instance dot something. So um, let's make our first um, function which is going to be um, um, generate grid which will give back our generated Sudoku grid. So let's make it public int generate grid 
and public. So the basic idea of this return new Int of two dimensional array should cook equals new int nine by nine and let's give it back should cook okay it's good so the basic uh, idea of this doing is uh, we will go to the elements. Uh, like this and if there is um, a conflict between two uh, elements then we go back and change uh, the previous one uh, or this one I don't know um, yeah so uh, let's get uh, started so uh, we will need a variable which is int current hold equals zero. And we will use the while cycle current hold is more than 81. This is, so basically why I don't use uh, two four cycles, one for x and one for the y axis. Basically because um, as you can see here, if we screw up, if there is no available uh, number for this, we should have uh, bigger problems with an x and y axis. Um, this way we just only need to go back one with the current position and we will be here. Okay, let's continue and create a clear grid um, function which will clear the grid and um, it will um, yeah, basically clear, clear, the, clear the grid. Private void clear grid. And let's pass the sudoku int sudoku. I don't know if it's sudoku or sudoku. Um, and here we will use the two two four cycles one for x and one for y let's and one plus okay yeah plus four int x equals zero two nine uh, x plus plus yeah I screwed up and we will Uh, just uh, make every element be minus one just to not to be conflicted with the previous um, elements and let's make um, a two dimension array list for our um, available um, elements so let's make private array list out of our array list out of integers let's call it available level no, available and this is going to be a new array list out of array list out of integer and import it and let's just clear this also so available dot clear and also um, fill it with numbers from one to nine yeah um, we need to have an 81 um, element in this available uh, array list so let's make a uh, int x equals 0 to 81 and x 
plus plus and a variable dot add a new array list out of integers. No, no, uh, yes, yeah, and also we have to fill it for int. I don't know y to from one to nine. A plus plus and available dot get x dot add. Okay, so um, we cleared our grid and we have our available uh, array list is working. So, um, yeah, when we start, we want to clear the grid, pass the sudaku, and uh, let's start it. So, we, if the available dot get current pos dot size is equals, if not equals to zero, then we are good to go because uh, if it's zero, then there is no number there, so we have to go back. So let's make that. So basically, um, we just want to feel that equals one two smaller smaller equals to nine e plus plus and available dot get current position dot add e and step back okay now um, we want to randomize um, a position in this available array list to choose a number to be filled no, to fill our sudoku grid so uh, let's get uh, random private random friend equals new random and import it um, now we want to run them. Um, yeah, we don't need a, a function for this. It's going to be just um, rand dot next int and available dot get current position dot size. Basically, um, what it's what it's doing that um, um, it's going to get a random number from 0 to the size of this and it's going to be the e and int number equals available dot get current position dot get e so our number will be this okay now we have to check if it's conflicts with the previous as I have shown you if um, if we choose here a 4 then uh, we have to remove it and go back here yeah no um, no uh, we don't go back so basically um, if which is 4 here, then we remove it. And uh, if there is other numbers and there is no conflict, then we will fill with that number. If there is no other numbers, then we go back and change this number. Yeah, that's the basic idea. Okay, so let's write our check conflict uh, uh, function yeah 
So basically, check conflict will check um, um, like when we are here, it will check only um, these three numbers. So it will check only horizontally this way. Uh, but we are if we are here, it will check horizontally to these two numbers. It will check uh, vertically these two numbers, and it will check um, these I don't know eight numbers. Yeah. So it will check this whole region. Okay. So let's get started. Private boolean check conflict. And uh, it will get the our Shudoku array. Let's remove the space. Uh, we will get uh, our current position, and yeah, basically that is it. Bully. So, return false, and let's make uh, our x and y positions out of our current position. It's basically quite easy, like x false equals cur current false uh, model 9, and y position is equals to current false divided by 9. Okay. So, um, we will need uh, three other um, um, checks. And let's make it private boolean check horizontal conflict. Let's pass our shudo coup. Let's pass our. Uh, let's make it final because we are not going to modify this. Um, then we need x and y positions, and for simpl simplicity, I will pass the the number, which is uh, the um, the number at sudoku dot x pause and y pause. Make it int number equals two. Um, just for simplicity, it has to be good. Okay. Return false. So let's make a final int x pause, final int y pause, and final int number. Um, actually, we can duplicate this because the basics of the other two will be the same. This is going to be vertical and region. Okay, so in horizontal we go from the x position, where is it? So if we are zero at the y-axis equals zero and let's I don't know three on the x-axis we are just going to go back from three to two one and zero if we are um, at um, I don't know um, three on the y-axis also then we are going to do two one zero just on this axis um, it's quite easy so let's make it for int x equals x position minus one position minus 1, x is greater equals to 0, and x 
minus minus and just check if number is equal to shudaku x and y position if it is then return true so i'm just going to make a, a bit of javadoc here to remember that it returns true if there is a conflict um, let's do the same here um, just on the y-axis equals no y pos minus one one uh, y is greater or equal to zero and y minus minus and let's check if number is equal to shudoku x pos and y if it is then return true okay and check the region um yeah it's it's not that hard so we can do that um in this case we need to separate the region like this is zero oh okay so this is not this is zero this is one this is two on the x axis and this is one on the y axis and zero on the x axis so um let's do this so basically uh we need x region equals x position divided by three in this case if we if our x position is i don't know one or one if we divide it by three it will be zero because um we are using ints integers so y origin is equal to y pos divided by three and let's go through our region so let's make an int x equals x region times three it's x is smaller than x region times 3 plus 3 x plus plus let's make it uh, forget 4 int y equals y region times 3 y is more than y region times 3 plus 3 y plus plus and check if it's the same number equals to shudaku and y return true okay so we have our checks uh, let's implement it so if check horizontal conflict to the cool x1 y position or check vertical conflict or check region conflict then return true so um, we are using all of the three uh, checks let's use our check conflict so um, if there is no conflict check conflict Shudaku and current position, then int x pos equals current pos model on 9, int y pos equals current pos divided by 3, uh, 9, sorry, and let's add that number to our grid. y position equals number and remove 
that from our available array list dot remove yeah and step forward otherwise if there is a conflict we just remove that number from our available array list um, yeah and it should work I think I'm not missing anything so let's uh, let's test it out so I'm going to make a print uh, Shudoku uh, function let's make it private Wait, print Shudoku. Um, what is going to do is just go through all the elements equals zero x smaller than my oh um, yeah uh, x plus plus and now y int y equals zero y is smaller than nine y plus plus and because I screwed up I have to change these two lines um, and pass this our int shudoku two dimension array and uh, debug dot log or no log dot v or just use system yeah system out dot print and I made it so nicely so I'm going to use that so it's going to be sudoku x and y plus this to see what's going on and pass out dot print lm to see the different lines and just store our uh, sudoku. So int sudoku equals get instance dot generate red and print sudoku. So now it should work. No, no. Uh, yeah. Just run this Android application. I hope it's going to work as I expect. I have this mini device. It's so cute. Device disconnected. I'm going to okay so I'm going to pause this and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that okay I'm back uh, I figured out I made um, some huge mistake so let's um, just uh, fix those and I will show you how it's gonna work like this so uh, first things first um, here is a huge mistake because we are um, just trying to um, just um, looking if uh, um, minus one is equal to minus one and it's always equal so let's just fix it by adding a new final int number and go back here and just a number okay the next mistake I made um, that um, here I think we are good we are good here okay so we have to check if the x position I mean the x and x position or the y and the y position 
are the same or not. So x not equals x pos or y not e not equals y pos. And and I think we fixed everything. Oh, this is not set for check. Okay, so Um, I will just run it again. Uh, let me show you. Wait a second. Okay, if we run it, uh, as you can see, it's working. And I think there is no problem in this range. There is no problem. No problem here. No problem here. I think it's working nicely. Okay, th thank you very much. Um, in the next episode, uh, I'm going to show you how to check uh, if the grid is solved. Then we will look um, some GUI, and I hope it will be a complete project soon. If you like this episode, please um, like and subscribe and see you next time.